What is going on, guys? Welcome to Brad's Parlay of the Day. Today, I got a three leg parlay for Thursday, April 4th, 2024. Here, at Pitos, we got the most free pick videos out of anyone. So, click that subscribe button, drop a like, it helps us out a lot. If you guys want the picks like the best, picks like the most, picks that I bet myself personally, go to pitos.com. Click the premium pick section or click the link in the description of this video. You'll find all my plays there. We hit our parlay on April 1st. We hit our parlay on April 2nd. Hopefully, we get our parlay on April 3rd. Let's just keep it going, man. Let's keep it going. March was a tough month for these parlay videos. We started off April just how I wanted to, so can't complain. Let's get right into it for this Thursday parlay. For this first leg, I'm looking at this matchup between the Mavs versus the Hawks. I'm going to lay the 11 with the Mavs here. It's a big number, but Hawks, they played tonight. Who did they play? I think they played the Pistons on Wednesday. So they will be on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. Uh, they've been playing better basketball, don't get me wrong, but... Uh, the Mavsmen have been playing some pretty good damn basketball as well. And uh, they've been covering through the spread. 8-2 uh, and two ATS in the last 10, the Mavs have been. They've also been a good home team as well. 25-15 and 15 straight up at home. On the other hand, the Hawks, 15-22 to 22 straight up on the road. Um, I, I, I can see this one getting ugly pretty quickly. You know, the last time these teams played, the score was 148-143. to 143. Holy crap. That is wild. 190 points were scored in that game. So the over may be a good look as well. But, uh, yeah, I'll take my chances with fading the Hawks on the back end of a back-to-back. -back. Give me the Mavs minus 11. Next, uh, looking at this match between the Warriors versus the Rockets. Give me, uh, give me the Rockets plus four. Give me the Rockets plus four here. Um, you know, the Warriors, they, they have been playing uh, better basketball. They, they needed to. And uh, they've been winning games, but... Man, this, this Rockets team at home catching points, the the 26 and 12 um, straight up at home Rockets team, the 26 and 11 and 1 ATS Rockets team at home catching four points. I mean, come on, guys. It's I think this number's uh I think this line's a little a bit disrespectful here. I think this is a bit disrespectful. So uh, yeah, I'll take my chances with the Rockets um, playing their best basketball or. I'll take the Rockets where they played their best basketball, which is their home court. Um, and don't get me wrong, you know, the, the Warriors have actually played their best basketball on the road. So, interesting uh, matchup here. But I think the, the Rockets use that defense. They use that crowd. And uh, they can keep this one at least close, maybe win it outright. So, I'll take the Rockets plus the points there. Let's see. If that was, like, the Warriors minus two, I probably would stay off it. But four seems a little bit high. Seems a little bit disrespectful to me. And last but not least, um, I'm, let's head to the diamond. We got a smaller MLB slate for for this Thursday. Looking at this matchup between the Royals versus the White Sox, I'm going to take the Royals on the money line here. Uh, the White Sox are trash. One and four on the season so far. They got who do they have on the mound today? They have a uh, Soroka on the mound. Uh, in his last outing, it wasn't too pretty. I mean, he has a 7.2 ERA. I don't know exactly what he did. In his first start of the season, but uh, if you have a 7.2 ERA, it probably wasn't that great. Um, and then Lugo gets a mound for the Royals. One, one of the Royals' better better starting pitchers. And then also, I just like these uh, these Royals bats too. I, Bobby Witt is one of my favorite players um, in the MLB. Uh, Melendez kick a hit bombs as well. So I think this is a good spot and honestly a good series for the Royals to pick up some wins. So that'll do it. Let's recap this part leg. Leg one, Mavs versus the, the Hawks. Give me the Mavs on, or give me the Mavs minus 11. Rockets versus Warriors. Give me the Rockets plus four. And then the White Sox versus the Royals. Give me the Royals on the money line. I appreciate you guys watching this. If you want to follow my handicap here more close, you can follow me on Instagram at Adwins Bets. I post all my wins and losses there. I picked all content, other free picks, and all funnels back into there. But most importantly, subscribe to Pitos on YouTube because we're just trying to help you guys win some money. I'm going to catch you tomorrow.